let's take you inside there where she rears the black soldier fly that has made her to make a lot of money in Pontre. Come with me as we enter to explore her unit of a black soldier fly that you all need to adopt. Come with me guys. I did the So everything here is so this is where I feed the black soldier fly larvae. We use waste product, we use market waste, we use waste restaurant, leftovers from the restaurant. This is what you have put here, and there is some small bit of the mess brand you have put here. That is what we use for racing up. This is the racing unit for the black soldier fly larvae. So we are racing here, this, all these containers are having it and we are feeding them using that waste product. So it is here, when it takes 14 days, we get it out, that one which we are supposed to use for feeding the poultry, we remove it out for chicken. Then the one which we want to raise to a pupa level, we leave it to continue feeding until 21 days. That's when we shall get it out of the feed, when it is totally black in color. That one shows that it, it is already at the pupa stage. Yes, mommy. I've seen uh, the black soldier fly has helped you a lot to make a lot of money, a lot of profits in this farm. If there is a message that you would send to Africans outside there, most of the African farmers, what would that message be? Actually, my message to African farmers, mostly the small-scale poultry farmers across Uganda, is they need to embrace the rearing of the black soldier fly larvae. It is very, very cheap to rear the black soldier fly larvae because we use the waste product, which is cheap to access. You can even use your own, the peels of tomato, potatoes, the peels of cassava. You can use it for raising the black soldier fly larvae, which is very, very cheap for any other farmer to afford. In a black soldier fly, it contains everything, that's what I have realized. When you mix it in the feed, it, it gives you like you have bought nutrients, which are everybody can afford, instead of buying the feeds which are quite expensive, which everybody who is poor cannot afford. So I encourage farmers to go rare the black soldier fly larvae, so that they pick up, all of them would be able to afford this done, buying what they cannot afford. 
I see a lot of insects in Africa and I think you, you are one of the ambassadors now who are going to keep insects and love insects. What are you telling people outside there about a lot of insects that helps us in Africa? Actually, actually there are so many insects which are helping Africans. One is what you have seen is a black soldier fly love. You have already explained to you the benefit of it. The other one is the white hands. The white hands are also nutritious to human beings as well. So most of these things, when you go to termites, termites are good very well. By the way, termites are also used as a feed for poultry. It's not only human beings, but termites are good for poultry as well. It is as a feed for poultry, not only farmers. So Africa is full of insects which are beneficial. They are really so good, both animals, birds, and human beings as well. Wow, Mom, I can't leave here minus asking you this question. Many people think Africa is poor. Is Africa poor? Africa is not poor. Africa is very rich. Actually, African continent is the richest. We have so many, like, a BSF, it's very easy to access from the bush. Even termites, we have anthills. You cannot compare with other countries. Africa is rich with all what we need, insects, besides other things. Africa is very rich. Why are some Africans poor now? It is just they have not got knowledge, but otherwise they would be very rich. We need to give out this knowledge to all the Africans so that they grow faster. Wow, thanks so much. <laughs>